thanks for joining us. Um, I'm joined by Woody from the Quo Experience and uh, a special guest. Who have you got with you? I've got um, Tommy Parfit here. Wow. Wow. I mean, um, you, you'll have to excuse me. Um, I'm very nervous, very nervous for this. Um, Woody, you spoke to me five years ago um, about the Quo experience. You've also appeared with your other band, Quode. Um, go and check out those episodes if you can. How do you think the Quo experience has changed in five years? So within the last five years, I've, I've clearly got older and so have the other members of the band. Um, we've also been lucky enough to have Matt Letley play quite a few shows with us. And Tommy has guested with us a couple of times. I thought our, our show has just evolved in general. You know, we're trying to put on a bigger and better show. It's still a fairly new band. Been going eight years this year. I've been doing it seven years. And I feel like we're going from strength to strength. Wow. And, um, and Tommy, hel hello there. Um, thank you for joining me on the Quocast here. Um, You're welcome. How, how old are you? I'm 15 at the moment. You're 15. So when did you first pick up yeah. the guitar? So at first I picked up the guitar when I was very young, around the age of two, when my dad bought me a little guitar when I was obviously very small. And I, was, I didn't know how to play it, but I was trying to kind of mashing the strings a bit. And then as I progressively got older, I started learning small chords like Ds and stuff. And then over time, Dave um, has helped me a lot and Woody, have, they've all helped me a lot with progressing with my guitar. So, yeah. And how does it feel? I mean, obviously, um, there, there is a clip of you very young on stage with your dad. And obviously, yeah. you've played several yeah. times with the Crow Experience. How does it feel to be on stage in front of people? Yeah, it feels very memorable, to be honest. Um, it's always been my dream to go up on stage in front of people and play and do the things that I love, like playing guitar and following in my dad's footsteps is one of the best things I think I'll ever do. So I think, yeah, it's a dream come true for me. Do you have a particular favourite Quo song that you like? Yeah. Um, so I like Caroline, which is probably one of my all-time favourites at the moment, only because I'm, I'm playing it quite a lot. Um, I also like uh, The Wanderer. That's a good song. And some other songs, yeah. But I enjoy all their music in general. So, um, Woody, how does it work with Tommy? Does he come on for a couple of numbers or is he there for the whole gig? So um, at, at the moment, in today's show, he'll come on for a couple of numbers. Uh, hopefully in the future we can get him up for the whole show. And from your perspective, like, how do the fans react? Oh, the fans love him, you know, especially, you know, he's young, he's handsome, he plays guitar, what more do the people want? And, you know, being in the Parfit household, it's, it's, it's brilliant. Everyone loves seeing him. And um, which, um, remind me, which gig is it that you're, you're playing? So at the moment we're at the Spa Pavilion in Felix, though. Right. And what um, have, have you played that before? Yes, we've done it twice before. The first time we had Matt Letley on drums. Uh, last time I was here, which was two years ago, it was just us as a, us as a five piece, and we're returning again this year with Tommy. And what what does the um, what does the set list look like? Oh, that'd be giving away too many hints. <laughs> well, well, uh, obviously. It's, it's all the hits and more. That's all I'm going to say for now. And, um, well, uh, Tommy, I mean, are you sort of wanting to one day form your own band or are you happy just sort of guesting? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, at the moment, currently, I'm in a band, a small band, that is uh, evolving very quickly and I'm excited to see the progress that's happening in the band, but... Um, I would like to make uh, my own status quo tribute band, um, but I'm working on it very slowly, yes. And what, what kind of music is, is the other band that you're in? So at the moment, we're doing mostly indies pop kind of music. Yeah, I, I was going to ask you, like, what, what music are you listening to at home? Yeah, so at home, I'm, I'm actually listening to status quo mostly. Um, Stasis Quo has always been one of my all-time favourite bands and, well, as an obvious, because it was, my dad was in it and uh, their music to me is just so memorable and I love listening to it. Well, I, I certainly agree with you there. Um, 
Woody, I mean, have you got any gigs coming up? So uh, at the moment, we've got one more in October. I've taken a bit of time out um, just for myself, really. I've, I've been on the road quite a, quite a lot the past couple of years. So I'm taking a little bit of a year out, but we have got a gig in October at Venue 23 in Wakefield, and we've got Jeff Rich guesting on drums for that, that one. Wow. I mean, you've, you you say you've had Matt Letley, you've had uh, Jeff Rich. I mean, was was there, I don't know, was was there anyone else that you wished you could have played with? I would love to have played with um, Adam Lancaster, but obviously where he lived in Australia for so long, that, that wouldn't have ever been possible. Yeah, I mean, Alan was a, was a big part of Cairo in the, in the early years before he left in 84. Yeah. And of course, you know, I, I would say Francis, but that means I'd be out of the job for a gig. So I, I'll, I'll say no to that one. But, you know, a, anyone really, I'd, I'd just love to play with, like, with their musicianship and their experience and knowledge. It, it'd be great. And um, what about Quo? Are you sort of taking a break with them too? So at the moment, Quo, we've got quite a few festival dates lined up for this year. And a couple of other shows. I, I can't remember where they are off the top of my head. Um, I'll have to get back to you on that one. But yeah, it's all quite quiet. And then next year, I'll be back with a bang. Well, I, I wish you all the best on your uh, on your year off, um, Tommy. I mean, what what are your plans after this gig? Are you planning to guest with any other bands or anything like that? Not the moment. No, uh, I'm looking into stuff like that, but. Um, at the moment, I don't have any ideas on that, no. Wow. I mean, how, how does it feel to, to play Caroline, knowing that your dad basically invented it? Oh, I mean, it's amazing. Like, I go on stage and I, I'm walking on and in my head, I'm like, do it for my dad, do it for my dad. And it inspires me a lot and gets me going. So I think that's what carries me through the, the, um, the song, really. Well, I mean, it's a, it, it must be quite emotional when you do it. Yeah, it is definitely. I do have emotions. I have mostly adrenaline and excitement at the back of my head, but then I do always know that right in the back there is my dad playing it and that like vision in my head that I have of my dad used like used to play it, but I'm very happy to be carrying on his legacy in my own way. Definitely. Um do you sing as well or do you just play guitar? I do sing. I sing and play guitar. So, uh as a duo, I think that's that's quite good because it's two things that he could do. Definitely. Well, I know you guys have got to get ready for your gig, um, which yep. by the time this episode goes out will be will be been and gone. But uh, we'll certainly um, continue advertising for the future. Um, thanks, guys, for appearing on the Quocast today. Thank you very much. Oh, brilliant. Thank you for having us. <laughs> 